I thought I'd show you a very handy hint and it's very quick and easy to do uh, especially if you're struggling with fine lines or branches or twigs or grasses and you can't use a fine brush and you get a bit of a shake or a wobble well what I'm going to show you is a very very quick and easy method um, I've started off I've already painted my sky which is ultramarine very wet and wet and left space for clouds I'm going in with some ultramarine and lemon yellow to create my tree shapes and if you notice I'm just dabbing with my brush especially towards the top part to make it look more like foliage we will add some other colour in here shortly so these are distant trees but they'll also this technique will also work for anywhere where you want finer detail or grasses. So here we've got our bank of trees. I'm now mixing up some cadmium yellow and ultramarine for some darker elements that we'll just place here towards the bottom. And the way we're going to create these branches is with this, the lid off a biro. And it's the clip area here that we're interested in because as I scratch into the surface with quite a bit of pressure I can create my tree shapes and my branches and my twigs and what happens is I bruise the paper and by bruising the paper it creates a, a channel that all the paint runs into and even when dry it will stay darker you can see here already how effective that looks but what else we can do if we want paler branches we can use the channeled part of the clip and if I'm very quickly scratch in it scoops out the colour and leaves whiter lines for us to use I'm going to then quickly add a little bit of grass towards the bottom again with our lemon yellow and ultramarine mix just to finish it off and a little bit of ultramarine and yellow ochre just for the darker parts in the trees so hopefully you can see how effective using a biro lid can be